safety car. Yeah. That was the second number one hit we had in the hit career that year. That is right. Well, of course, we been, well, I have been singing. In fact, we were just trying to figure out how long I've been with this group, this group of fantastic, fine musicians. Have you met them already? Yeah. yeah. Do you still remember the name? Yeah. Yeah, well, well by the end of tonight, we want to know the name. Fantastic act. We figured out that I'd been in this band four times longer than I was in the original band. So, we must be doing something right. Yeah. And I think, I think it's with that little carrot we've got every time we come to Rill. And I, I say to the guy, are you coming on tour with me? Don't forget, I'm going to Rill. And I think that's a secret. What, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah? yeah? Well, we've been singing hit songs, other people's hit songs, our own hit songs, lots and lots of times around the world. And of course, next year, we're going to be releasing our first album in a long time. <laughs> it's been in the making for decades. <laughs> and one of the hiccups that we've had is we couldn't figure out a proper title for such a thing. Some people said, why not the re Renaissance? No, no, that doesn't sound right. No. Ah. And then we were driving up the road and one of the guys in the band peeped up from the back and he said, why not call it, well, I'll let you tell him, I'm telling you himself. It was Philip, actually. You don't mind me calling me Philip, do you, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> you can call me Phil if you want. All right, Phil. Well, what was it? We were driving up, what was it? The M6 in a rainy day? Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. The rain. And he said, come on, we've got to fix it. I ain't a name for this album, goddammit. Well, I probably didn't say it like that. <laughs> I probably said something. Well, I probably said... <laughs> I can confirm it was something more like that. And uh, so, uh, Weefill, I've called him Weefill, but he's very big, actually. I said, Phil peeps up from the back and he says, why not call it... Rolling 2. Oh. <laughs> it's pure genius. Rolling too. <laughs> you get it? Because uh, the first album was called Rolling. <laughs> Alex doesn't like it. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? That could be our first album, Rolling Two. Yay! Like Jaws Two. <laughs> Star Wars too. Anyway. Okay, we'll think about that. But what I was trying to get is we, we have been compiling songs for this new album and I hope you don't mind we're gonna take two or three minutes to perform one of those songs for you. It's a song that Simon Mulvey and Leslie Teal wrote together. It's a great song, it's called Connection. <laughs> Yeah. 
allegations and situations by the door. We're looking for so much, looking for so much more. It's a big blow to six girls in the middle of real beat. Are there any girls in real beat? If you could just expose yourself to us. We will, we will. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, I didn't mean exposed, but I mean something else, probably. Yes, yes. 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 Well, you all work at, uh, can't say that, a hospital. Glenn. That one. A 
coming up with all these, coming up with all these funny words like foul. Oh, thanks. Uh, that's great. Um, we'll keep this here. I will. Oh, well, we will. I will. It's a good stage, is it? You don't have to take it up there, but I do. I know, there was some of the litter there, you're right. Well, that's from the police. Scottish police, I hope. No, great, a Manchester police, actually. Uh, they've warned me not to perform a song in the show tonight called The Pump. <laughs> He says we will allow you to perform it if you say happy anniversary to Sharon and Russ. Jacks. I get paid for doing this, you know. It's another couple hundred quid I just done. No, okay, well, so we can't play the bump tonight. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll leave the bump to the second half. I will get on to the powers that be. Yeah, I'll get on the phone to you, David. David, the big C. You know, David, the big in government. And I'll ask him if I can perform the bomb. So, we're talking to the car, let's do something different tonight. Why don't we do something from the 60s? It's okay, let's let the song. What song shall we do? And if it's Simon over there, he says, why don't we do that song, Glad All Over? Yeah. You say that you love me, you say you love me, you say it all the time, all the time. You say that you need me, you say you need me, you say you'll always be mine.
This is the great Neil Gates, this is the ladies and gentlemen. When I was, when you we were almost like boyfriend and girlfriend, weren't we? I was 18 and you were probably six. I was in the middle pages of Jackie magazine. And every other day you could switch on the TV and tune into Shangri-La. We heard you. <laughs> yeah, we did. Well, uh, there's a great little story attached to this next song, but I think I've spoken enough tonight, so we're going to go right ahead and play it just after I've spoken for three and a half minutes. <laughs> I just wanted to tell me how this song is. Tell us about. the story! Come on! <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, because it'd just be a little bit, no, wouldn't it? Do you like an anti climax? You said it'd be like another anti climax. <laughs> I'm only saying that to you because most of you are female, so. <laughs> You must know what that feels like. <laughs> well, listen, we're going to play a great song written by Eric and Woody. It's called Love Me Like I Love You. Do you love me like I love you? Or is this good?
så har jeg for nu af. You know, it used to be a lot easier to do that, so. Cheers. Because it's in our contract. <laughs> you know, as you progress your life, you need a lot of work for this every now and again. You know, it's life. Well, the, the guys in the audience probably know what it's like. Yeah, every, every, every 60 seconds, I definitely need a rest. <laughs> cool. Is there a name for that? <laughs> in England they call that a cookie. <laughs> Let's see. We had an American number one. That was the peak of our career. So it was in 1976. To be number one in the United States of America. <laughs> oh, we were proud that here we are. And we were die. Taking, taking a dart and flag above the America. <laughs> And the whole city of New York. And the song was a song called Saturday Night! Saturday 